Hi, this is Fohammer2003 uh, with a small tutorial on getting the best settings and output for your Rock Series Game Capture Clips. This is in response to a lot of questions and um, people commenting and private messaging me on YouTube um, asking how I get it in such, uh, such good quality compared to many others they've seen. So I'll show you. Alright, this is obviously the uh, Roxio Video Wave software. I'll just uh, import a clip I'd already prepared. This is from Brink, in case anyone was wondering. Okay. Alright, first of all, I'm going to trim it because I don't want all of it. So I'm going to trim. Now, for every section you want to um, adjust the colour and contrast, saturation, things like that for, you'll have to do it for each individual clip. Um, so you might want, if it's all in the same game, the same settings um, for every clip. Uh, but once you find your ideal settings, then um, it's as simple as just copying it each and every time. Okay, so that should be my clip. I can just set the end there. What I should have. Life on arcs, daggers on. Clip. We fight, we scream, we pound our fists. Alright, fantastic. Okay, now for this video, I'm going to mute this. Uh, native audio. Um, just so you can hear me giving advice as opposed to itself. Okay. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. Um, here, the contrast, brightness, saturation, red, green and blue. Um, that's what's going to give you um, your best overall effect in the end. So what I'll do is if I click repeat and then play it will keep it on a loop so you can actually see what effect uh, you're having with the overall video. Uh, okay. So if I was to put the green right up for example, you can see it looks horrible but it has an immediate effect on the video. Um, now the settings I show you here aren't going to be for everyone, um, they're going to vary according to what video, what your video clips like. So, um, in this case, let's have a look. I mean, I only tweak them a small amount. Uh, contrast, I usually put up a little bit. It just makes it a little bit sharper, um, a little bit clear cut. The lines are a little bit less fuzzy. Brightness, um, I often raise, but uh, in case of this video, I think I'm gonna lower it just a tad. So I think 48.7, that'd be fine. Saturation, um, generally up just a little bit. Just in there. Um, and then with this video, because Brink's quite a colourful game, I'm actually going to um, reduce the red, green, and blue. Um, I think to about 46 each. Okay. Right. That's looking good to me. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much all I do. Uh, very simple, very easy. But, you know, why make it harder unless you have to? Um, next step is export as. No, actually, I'll turn the volume back up. Native audio. It's uh, normal volume. Okay, then I'll simply export as, uh, or you can go to output export as, it's both the same. I don't particularly want to save it. Uh, 
purpose. Oh, I've shown in my other video, um, you can leave it to PAL, both NTSC, it doesn't really seem to matter that much. Um, now my file quality, I always go for either the 1080p 30 frames per second or the DivX HD 720p at 30 frames per second. It's your own preference really, but the DivX HD ones seem to be the best. So I'll choose that one now. Um, just click final. I'll put into desktop and just create a video file. All right, because it's quite a small file, it won't take very long to render. Um, and that's it really. Um, I'll include the final output at the end of this uh, this tutorial, just to uh, show you what the finished article looks like. And um, yeah, if you use that as a general basic guideline to your videos, then uh, you can't go far wrong. Life on Ark staggers on. We fight, we scream, we pound our fists. Apes returned to the sea. And things keep falling apart. Always have, always will. Who knows what we'll have to face next. <laughs>